So we're going to take a look at the new native QR code scanning capabilities on iPhones. With the latest version of software, you can now, straight from the native camera on iPhones, recognize a QR code. And in this demonstration, we're going to show how we can use the redirector function on the Everything platform to then control what happens when people scan those QR codes. So to do this, first we need to create um, a project within the Everything dashboard, and then we're going to set up um, the various components to make this work. So once we've set up a project, we then need to create an application within that project. So we're going to set up some redirection rules um, to control what happens when people scan this QR code that we're going to create. So now we have um, we've created a project and an application. Now we're going to create some redirection rules. So we select the application we've just created within the project. So now we can set the specific conditions of the rules we want. So what we're going to do is create some rules based on location. So we are going to add a condition of uh, latitude and longitude. So we're going to, in this case, specify the location of London, or the proximity of London. And then, in this case, we're going to redirect to a particular song uh, based around being in London. And then we're going to create another rule for the location of New York. So whenever anyone scans this QR code that we're going to set up, if they're in London, they will see uh, one redirection. If they're in New York, they'll see another. So these are just the uh, location coordinates of, of London and New York. So that redirection is the one that will, the user will be sent to if they are within those location parameters. Now we need to create uh, the thing which will be represented by this particular QR code. So in practice, the, this thing may be a, a consumer good with a QR code on it, which we want to then control what happens when a user scans. So once we've created the thing, we need to set up a redirection. So this will actually generate the QR code which we're going to use. So we put in a default domain, which will be used if uh, none of the conditions of the redirection are met. So you'll see now we have a QR code and a short URL which is a unique URL for this particular thing. And that will be represented by the QR code which will then be redirected based on the rules we've just configured.